Once upon a time, there was a man named Alexander Hamilton, who was the first Treasury Secretary of the United States. Now, this was way back in 1788, just after the Revolutionary War, and the U.S. had just spent way more money than we even had. But this Hamilton guy, he knew what he was doing. And so by the 1830s, the federal government had successfully paid off the debt. All seemed well for a while, until the Civil War. Now, the Civil War didn't put the U.S. into too much debt, and it was pretty well paid off by the early 20th century. But then there was World War I, which brought even more debt. It reached up to 35% of GDP. This was pretty short-lived, though, and by the 20s, we seemed to be back on track. Until the Great Depression. President Roosevelt tried to combat the financial crisis by spending more money, sending the nation deeper into debt than ever. But it wasn't just him. Local governments did the same thing, and by 1933, the U.S. debt was up to 70% of GDP. Now that's a lot, but it's nothing compared to what happened next. By the time World War II ended, the federal debt was at almost, get ready for this, 122% of GDP. Impossibly, over the next 35 years, the government managed to bring the debt down to an almost manageable amount, but then came President Reagan. He increased the federal debt up to 50% of GDP to fund the Cold War in the 80s. Since then, the debt has fluctuated some, and in the mid-90s until about 2001, it was actually on the decline. Ever since, though, it's been rising pretty consistently, And in 2008, with the market crash, it reached over 100% of GDP for the first time since World War II. Today, the U.S. national debt is approximately $14 trillion. That's 98.6% of GDP and is predicted to rise up to 101% of GDP by 2021 and a staggering 187% by 2035 if something doesn't change soon. This change is being discussed constantly in Washington and is the source of just a little bit of contention between Obama and Congress right now. The difficulty is, we're a nation just coming out of a recession, so raising the debt limit is dangerous. But on the same coin, not raising it seems impossible. So we're in a bit of a financial pickle. But the good news? We've been here before, and we've come out of it okay. Maybe even a little stronger.